Welcome guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get these Steam VR controllers in UE4. Uh, this is my first tutorial ever, so uh, bear with me on this one. <laughs> I'm sorry for my accent, I'm uh, actually from the Netherlands. Uh, so yeah, my English is, uh, let's say, not excellent plus. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna try to keep it as uh, short as possible. Uh, not a, not a lot of chit chatter and uh, well let's get started okay the first thing you need to do is locate your steam folder uh, from st there you go to uh, steam apps um, let's see common um, steam vr resources random models and there you get the bottom one vr controller 515 you see a lot of items here uh, all of them are used to uh, animate the model itself but uh, yeah we don't need that right now so we're only gonna get the bottom one that's the entire model uh, plus uh, the occlusion and the texture uh, next up uh, you open 3d max or your own program and uh, you make sure your unit setup is set on meters because every uh, object uh, uh, obj from uh, uh, steam is set to meters so just to get the right scale and we do this just to make sure everything is all right we don't want to uh, import it in uh, in unreal and to uh, finally uh, uh, look, at, look at it and uh, see it's off scale or something so yeah, from here, uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, draw a box uh, of uh, one meter by one meter by one meter. And then we import our uh, model. Let's see, here it is. Oop. This one, the OBJ. And this is all alright. Uh, okay, let's see. It should be around um, 25 centimeters, roughly. 25.4, I mean, um, I think. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. More fours. Okay, uh, from here on out, uh, you're gonna delete the cube and set everything to 0, 0, 0. One thing I might add, it, it's really high poly for VR, in my opinion, and uh, there are some angles in here. So you have to uh, yeah, fix that on your own, or create your own model from this one as a base, I don't know, just uh, as, you, as you like. Uh, from here on out, you just export as a FBX, uh, let's see, yeah, controller. Yes, and make sure your smoothing groups are, are on and everything you don't need is off. And I just uh, set my scale factor to uh, automatic. And now I'm gonna pause the video for a second because my computer is a little bit old <laughs> and uh, it can't run 3S, 3ds Max, VR, and uh, UE4 at the same time. So. Okay, as, as I said before, I'm uh, trying to keep it short, so uh, uh, let's go. I've uh, set up everything already, and I'm going to show you what you have to do. Uh, first off, you need to create a VR pawn, or a blueprint pawn, I mean. Um, I set up a scene component here, and uh, I added a motion controller. You can do it right here. Yeah, motion controller. And on the uh, right side here, you can uh, set with which hand you're using, left or right. And as you have two controls, you use uh, both sides, of course. Of course. Okay, let's delete this one. Uh, um, under this, I've set a static mesh with the actual mesh itself. And the, I set up a m simple material uh, with a texture and the ambient occlusion and a roughness value of 1. Um, and uh, if you have your room set up uh, correctly, uh, you need to add a Steam VR ch uh, chaperone 
so you can see your bounce on your uh, of your walls and your uh, computer so that you don't smash your controllers uh, right into your screen or something uh, next up uh, you have to set your uh, um, tracking origin to floor uh, that's um, a thing with the oculus uh, it's get calculated from your eyes uh, level and with the um, HTC 5 it get, uh, gets calculated from the flo uh, floor level <coughs> so this is HTC 5 and this is uh, oculus and another thing you have to do uh, to make sure uh, you have set up is your base eye height has to be set to zero with oculus it's uh, 64 but uh, for now we have to use zero okay um, and you have to make sure your player start is at uh, zero as well or one cent centimeter sorry one centimeter just above or you might get glitches where you get uh, underneath the uh, uh, floor um, you have to set up your uh, you have to create a game mode yeah so uh, right here blue uh, blueprint blueprint class sorry <laughs> uh, game mode um, you have to create a player controller and a camera manager in the player controller the uh, goes the VR camera manager right here and everything else seems to be right yep and then you have to set your game mode of course um, in the default pawn class you put your VR pawn that you created uh, you put your player controller here and that's about it if I'm right uh, yep and the last thing you need to do is uh, go to your project settings, uh, maps and modes and uh, put on your uh, game mode right here and make sure your settings are all right and also you have to go to your world settings uh, right here and uh, make sure the settings here are correct as well I have disabled the hot class because you don't need it at the moment so um, last but not least oh, I see my uh, indicator is uh, off screen here um, oh yeah last but not least I give you a little tip uh, if you have a, a real uh, 4.11 there's a new feature um, that I really like it's uh, called stereo uh, for instant stereo I mean let's see it's about right here what this does is uh, normally uh, with lower versions um, it renders each eye separately and with instant stereo it renders everything simultaneously so it, it's an enormous uh, a boost to your performance or at least uh, a boost <laughs> let's call it that way and yeah that's about it uh, let's see some results okay before we go any further um, I just found out that uh, I have to put my uh, the height of my VR pawn at 20 centimeters. It's probably because my uh, floor calibration is off at the uh, Steam VR itself, so I'll have to check it later. But yeah, for now, 20 centimeters works for me, and I, it can be different uh, on your own setup. But uh, yeah, let's go. Let's uh, do some testing. <coughs> If I'm right, yep, there are my controllers, they're on the floor right now, as you can see. And they're working uh, pretty good, um, they're pretty accurate, if I may say. Um, I've uh, removed all collision from the models itself, um, that's because I had some glitches with it. And uh, for my use in development, I only uh, use a small box at the front here. I have to remind myself I can't point with my fingers in VR <laughs> because you can't see it. And what you also can see at the moment is the chaperone. That is um, because uh, the video doesn't record it. And yeah, if I, if I move closely to my wall here, I can uh, see a grid. Uh, but you can see it if you uh, do it on your own. Uh, that's. Uh, so that's gri the grid uh, shows where my walls are so uh, 
I don't uh, smash my controls against a wall or something. Uh, I have another thing uh, for preference. Um, normally, the uh, in most games, the ray trace is coming from the top here, and uh, for me that feels a bit unnatural to point at uh, when I'm uh, stressing my hand. So all my ray traces are coming from the bottom here, but but. Uh, as I just said, it's a uh, preference, so uh, yeah, you have to figure out for yourself uh, what, what you do like. Uh, if you want to have the animate version, as you can see if I push a button, nothing happens. If you want to have the animate version, you have to uh, get all the files from the Steam VR and animate it yourself in uh, UE4. And yeah, that's about it for the moment, I guess. And yeah, have fun. Uh, with development from here and uh, yeah if you like what you see uh, in the videos or have any questions or like to see more uh, just subscribe and uh, like it and please comment and I will get back to you as soon as uh, possible okay have fun